Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So, welcome back again to our web application pen testing uh, series. We are on challenge number 17. 17th challenge actually gives you 5 points upon clearing and using the hint or clue reduces 1 point from your kitty. And also there are about 100 people who have tried wrong passwords in this particular challenge. Yeah, let me stop giving you more information but let us read the question here. Vinod Senthil reaches the place where jewels might be. He enters the enormous museum and finds a plaque that reads about Nader Shah and the lost treasures. He touches the plaque that opens a nearby drawer in the wall. He touches it and something opens it. The drawer has a piece of paper that has a gibberish password written on it. Vinod Sendhil has to decrypt it as soon as possible. Okay, and they have given a link. Upon this clicking on the link, right? See this. I click contact. There's nothing. I click links. Actually, there is something. It says congratulations. This will help you get the password, right? And I will tell you something. Always remember when the password is ending with equal to right just out of experience you may not find this in books when the password or encrypted data is having the last character as equal to there are high chances that it may be a base 64 encoded payload right now let's see this base 64 encoding see i go here I say, you know, Santal is a good boy. And I say encode. Look at this. You see a equal to as a last character here. Right? This is a character equal to the, which means that a plain text data is converted to a cipher text using the base 64 encoding mechanism. And we know that by using the, the base 64 encode.org and it also ends with the equal to symbol now what i'm going to do is i am going to use this particular encoded data go to this site paste it here okay this is encode now i'll go to decoding website here, I click on this, it's basics for decode.org. Here I paste this data and I say decode. Is it giving me anything relevant? No, it's not giving me anything relevant. But reading the question again, right? See this, he enters an enormous museum and finds out the plaque that reads the Narasha and lost treasures. He touches a plaque that opens a, draw, a nearby drawer in the wall, right? It means that you just can't decode this base 64 data right it needs a plaque which is the hash value right or a cryptographic uh, value right so let me show you what i mean i go to this uh, website called md5 yes i go to this website called md5hashing.net slash crypto here, please notice it is a AES and Bay64 encoded string. So the data that I'm having, this one, I'm assuming and giving it a try because it ends with a equal to, I feel it's a Bay64 data. But the question also gives me a clue that there is a string that I have to put to decode it, which is otherwise called the salt, right? Okay, now look at this. I use this particular string, which is a base 64 encoded data, paste it here and say decrypt. Let's see what happens. It says, please enter key, which is password or salt into the above field, right? Now the thing is we have the uh, string, but we don't have the salt, right? So what I do, I further start researching on this site to see if there are salt available anywhere there is no other links that are working only this link that is working 
None of the other links are actionable link. Okay, so I'm in the home page. In the home page, what I do, I do right click view source. In this view source, I notice the page gets over here. The HTML tag is over here. However, I scroll all the way to down, down to see that there is a value like this, which is Corpio or something, right? Now, what I'm going to do is use that as a salt, right? So there is a uh, encoded data, but I can't decode the encoded data just like that. It's because it's not just a base 64 data. If it's just a base 64 data, you can do it. But because this is a AES two, uh, I mean AES and base 64 encoded string, you will have to have a salt, which I just pasted here, right from here. Now I say decrypt, let's see what happens. Wow, we, we got something that says like this, 1556 to 1605. Oh God, this is again leading us to another puzzle, isn't it? Now let me search, which Mughal ruled from 1556 to 1605? Let me click on this, it says Akbar. How sweet, it's easy that we have Google today. I'm just typing in some random password, wrong password. Now I say Akbar and boom, we got the password right. So we've successfully cleared this particular challenge. In this particular challenge, what we understood is, we understood what is encoding, what is decoding, what is base 64 encoding. Again, base 64 decoding, it is unlike the uh, encryption, right? In an encryption, you definitely have to have a key to decrypt it. but in base 64 encoding you de need not do it right because you can decode back again because the common uh, encoding technique used across the world meaning the functional key etc is also part of the uh, encoding uh, program itself now the interesting part here is this particular payload that i saw which uh, ended with the equal to likely gave me a, a hint that it's a base 64 encoded data but there is a string also attached to it, but how did I understand that? The question gave away that information saying, you do this here, there is a draw that opens there, right? Which means that there is encoded data, but you put a salt only then you get the password, right? So what I did, I used this encoded data in this website called md5hashing.net slash crypto, where I put the hash data and I also put the salt, which I got as a part of the view source code on the home page. And upon using both the uh, encoded data and the salt value, I was able to decode it back to a regular English text. And the text read 1556 to 1605. And I just did a Google search. It gave me an information saying, which Mughal rule, which Mughal emperor ruled from 1556 to 1605 was Akbar and it's also relevant to the storyline that we are reading and hence we were successfully able to clear the particular challenge. In case you did like this, in case you think someone would love to learn something of this sort regarding hashing technique, uh, encoding, decoding using base 64, AES, uh, using a salt to decode it back again, etc. Consider sharing and of course subscribing. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.